Welcome. I am a lay Shin Buddhist who nevertheless maintains an interest in the broader realm of Pure Land and Mahayana Buddhist teachings. My YouTube channel is called Akala Akala, that is A-C-A-L-A-A-C-A-L-A. In these podcasts, I make a non-scholarly, humble, and sometimes bumbling attempt to explore a particular topic or question related to the wonderful Buddha Dharma. I hope you find them to be of interest. With that said, let us begin. So, I have mentioned a couple of names in the previous podcasts I did that would benefit from a bit of elaboration. The one name, Dharmakara, was the Bodhisattva who, eons ago, made the 48 vows, including the 18th vow, the primal vow, that involves our Assurance that we can be reborn in a land of bliss when we die by simply saying the name Namo Mirabutsu and entrusting in the power of his vow. But where do we find this explication of vows? We find it in one of the three Pure Land Sutras. There are three, and one is referred to as the larger sutra, the larger Sukhavati Vyuha Sutra. Sukhavati meaning pure land. And in that sutra, or scripture, Dharmakara praises the Buddha, Lokasvara Raja. In other words, he's in the presence of Lokasvara Raja, and it was in Lokasvara Raja's presence that Dharmakara made his vows. But this piece that I'm going to recite in this particular podcast, which I also have as an upload in my Akala Akala YouTube channel, where I named it In Praise of the Buddha, is a generalized expression of praise that Dharmakara makes toward the Buddha. And this is one of the things that bodhisattvas and Buddhas do. They praise Buddhas and the attributes of Buddhas. But what Dharmakara does here too is he evolves that praise into a generalized commitment of his own relative to his intent to create a pure land, a country, if you will, that would be a refuge for human beings, for sentient beings. And he looks to Lokasvara Raja to serve as a witness in this regard. Now, this particular English translation was by Richard Robinson and can be found in an old but wonderful little volume called Chinese Buddhist Verse. It was published by John Murray in London, 1954. I hope you enjoy it. When Amitabha was still the Bodhisattva Dharmakara, he studied under the Buddha Lokasvara Raja. This is the hymn which he recited in praise of that Buddha. Shining face most awe-inspiring, pervading power unlimited. Such radiant brilliance as this is quite beyond comparison. The sun, the moon, the precious stones, though blazing and dazzling splendor, are cast into obscurity, just as if they were cakes of black ink. The Tathagata's form and face are without equal in the world. The all-enlightened one's great voice resounds throughout the universe. His morality, his energy, his absorption, and his insight, these sublime virtues have no peer. They are most excellent and rare. Deeply, clearly, he meditates on the Buddha's ocean of truth. He exhausts its depths and secrets and explores its shores and reaches. The honored one is ever free from ignorance and lust and hate. He is the lion of brave men. His wondrous virtue is endless. His merit is ample and great. His insight is deep and subtle. His overawing radiance shakes the thousand universes. I resolve to be a Buddha like the Holy King of the Truth. I will cross over birth and death and will liberate all beings. In charity, in mind control, restraint, forbearance, energy, as well as in contemplation and in insight, I shall excel. I vow to become a Buddha and everywhere carry out these vows. All those who are in fear and dread, I will establish a great peace. 
though the Buddhas in existence were a hundred thousand million innumerable great holy men, as numerous as the Ganges sands, to serve and worship each and all these innumerable Buddhas is less than seeking Buddhahood, firmly, rightly, not regressing. Though the worlds of all the Buddhas are as many as the Ganges sands, again, though there are numberless unnumerable regions, my splendor will shine everywhere and go throughout all these countries. My energy will be like this. My magic power will be endless. When I have become a Buddha, may my country be the highest, its people rare and excellent, its field of truth superlative, the land as good as nirvana, matchless and incomparable. Then, in pity and compassion, I will liberate all beings. Men from ten quarters who, reborn, their hearts rejoicing and unstained, have arrived inside my country, will dwell in peace and happiness. I call the Buddha to witness. He is my sincerity's proof. I have made my vows, and in these desires will labor earnestly. The Buddhas of the ten quarters are unobstructed in insight. May these honored ones forever know what is done in my heart. Even though my body remains in the place of pain and poison, I will walk in zeal and vigor, patient, not regretting my vows. With that, I will sign off by reciting the Nembutsu, in gratitude for being embraced and accepted just as I am by Amida Buddha, never never to be abandoned. Namo Mira Boots. Namo Mira Boots. Namo Mira Boots.